Okay, so now on to the next exercise in lesson 16, greedy algorithms and codility. It's called tie ropes. Let's get straight into it. Okay, there are n ropes numbered from zero to n minus one whose lengths are given in an array A lying on the floor in a line for each i, zero is less than i is less than n, the length of rope i on the line is ai. We say that two ropes i and i plus one are adjacent. Two adjacent ropes can be tied together with a knot and the length of the tied rope is the sum of lengths of both ropes. The resulting new rope can then be tied again. For example, given integer k, the goal is to tie the ropes in such a way that the number of ropes whose length is greater than or equal to k is maximal. For example, consider k equals 4 and array a like this. The ropes are shown in the figure below. We can tie rope 1 with rope 2 to produce a rope of length a1 plus 2, which is 2 plus 3, equals 5. Rope 4 with rope 5 with rope 6 to produce 1, 1, and 3 is 5. After that, there will be three ropes whose lengths are greater than or equal to k equals 4. It is not possible to produce four such ropes. Okay, so the ropes are 2 and 3 is 5, 4 on its own, 1, 1 and 3 is 5. We didn't use this first rope. Write a function that given integer k and non-empty array a of n integers returns the maximum number of ropes of length greater than or equal to k that can be created. For example, this example should return 3. Write an efficient algorithm for n in the range of 1 to 100,000, that's the number of ropes. k is an integer in the range of 1 and a billion. And each element in the array a is an integer within the range of 1 and 1 billion. So what I think I'm going to do is just loop through from the start to the end and just say is this length of 1 greater than k it's not so I'll tie it to the next rope and then is 1 and 2 greater than k it's not so tie it to the next rope 1 2 and 3 greater than or equal to k it will be so that's our rope 1 then the next rope is equal to k so that's our rope 2 and then tie these together for our rope three. Now we didn't need to use this first one and in the example they gave, we didn't use this first one, but we're not using it for any other reason. I think, I think that's it. And I think that that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just prepare the class. Okay, so um, I'm just going to loop through each rope. going to have a current length counter starts off at zero and then I'm going to tie this rope to the current length so current length I just add a at i to current length and if current length is greater than or equal to k then we get a, a rope I'll 
start off with rope zero we get a new rope ropes plus plus and current length goes back to zero uh, and we return ropes so uh, let's just see if that works first we want three and we've got three so let's just debug through this so make sure it's doing what I think it's doing so we start off looking at rope with a length of one so current length becomes one it's not greater than k so we go to the next rope the two we tie it to the one and we have a rope of three it's not greater than k so we tie the next rope to it which is three now we have six it is greater than k so we count that rope and we go back to length zero the next rope is four it has length of four that is equal to k so we count it and we go back to a length of zero the next one is one it's not greater than k so we tie it to the next one and we've got a length of two it's not greater than k so we tie it to the next one three we have a length of five it's greater than k so we count that rope and go back to zero and the answer is three so um i think that that's reasonably straightforward we're not going to overflow the integer um okay i'm a bit worried about the order that we, if we use a rope that we might it may be more efficient to tie future ropes together i don't know i'm going to submit that and see how it does run the tests and submit the task and 100 percent so that's my solution to tie ropes in codility Thanks for watching.